random rugby analysis from a bunch of members who could have gone pro if he didn't get injured. Now we're going to talk about the return of James O'Connor, a young individual piece. He was the 17-year-old prodigy who could do it all. He played every black line position at the national team level as a young'un. Except scrum off, of course, he was on track to being one of the greatest wallabies of all time. But it just didn't happen. Now, the reasons for this are many. But generally, you can chalk it up to playing for gut teams and maybe being a jack of all trades, often finding himself as the second best player in his position. He did spend a bit of time in Europe with uh, up and down uh, performances, often riddled with scandals such as the big night that he had with Ali Williams. We didn't forget that. We didn't forget that. But now, the only thing better than the sweet, sweet smell of cocaine is James O'Connor coming out with a brush cut playing in Australia. You know someone is serious when they have a brush cut. Brush cut season, baby. At this level, he's doing everything right at 10 for the race, creating space for both himself and others. And he does this through his superior passing ability that allows him to pass late and thus draw people into him, freeing up space. Now, kids, that's what allows him to get those sweet highlights in and those beautiful, beautiful offloads by keeping the defense on their toes through his drawing ability, keeping them right near him until the last second, then getting the pass away. And with him and Tate McDermott at the back, the Reds' back line has oftentimes looked nothing but fire. He's also taken on the goal-kicking responsibilities for his team, and with his help, the Reds led Rugby AU in successful conversions. Big man with the brush cut also smacked 15 penalties this season, the highest in the league. With the Reds, he's also the primary kicker for the RGB AU team that kicks from hand the most, showing a good understanding of the 50-22. He, he knows the law, you know, he knows the law uh, more than, who's that guy, Harvey Specter? Yes, he kicks and he passes. Brush cut men do it all. The big man with the brush cut also led Rugby AU in points and drop goals and try assists at 10. You know, you could honestly not ask any more from a number 10. Yeah. I wonder who his barber is. Man probably leads the leads in high fives and bump taps. That's the level he's playing at right now. James O'Connor also led his team to a Rugby AU final. We played pretty well in a loss. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. The number 10 Wallabies jersey is surely his again. And teams from New Zealand to England to Argentina should worry about him and his brush cut the way God intended.